Mackay does well to drop off. Oh, good change of direction, Barry Mackay as well. Takes a deflection! What a So it's finally happened. After weeks that felt like months of waiting, Philip Sendros has finally put pen to paper and signed for Glasgow Rangers. We're going to be doing a little review of Philip Sendros, will he be a good defender, the pros and cons of him, and then we'll be getting into uh, just a little pre-match review of the Linfield versus Rangers game at Windsor Park that is coming up on Saturday 3rd of September for a one o'clock kickoff. So first things first, Philip Sendros. Just to get the question out of the way, do I think he'll be a good signing for us? Um, in my previous videos, I'm sure you saw, I was uh, a little sceptical about him because, uh, quite honestly, I didn't think he was going to sign. I saw that um, Gillian Lescott turned us down and I thought maybe Sender Ross would have followed down the same path, so I didn't say the nicest things about him. Um, I focused on the negatives and a few of you did comment on that, so, uh, well, here are the positives. Yes, I do think he will be a good signing for us. He's a lot better than the likes of Wilson and Keenan already, but I don't know who's gonna, who he's going to play next to regularly because who would I prefer? Him next to Wilson or Kiernan. I'd probably say Wilson because he does seem like the better defender at the moment, but um, that's yet to be seen. Uh, Clint Hill as well, I don't want him next to him. In fact, I, I hate to say it, I really don't want Clint Hill on the team if he's playing with this sort of form at the moment. It's just ridiculous. Philip Senderos is a ridiculously experienced player. I, he's, I've never seen someone of his calibre with the CV that he's got. He played at Arsenal for seven years, joining them in 2003. That makes him one of the invincibles, meaning that he played alongside the likes of Robert Perez, uh, Dennis Bergkamp, Freddie Lomberg, Thierry Henry, Sol Campbell, David Seaman, all that at Arsenal, uh, where as previously stated, he stayed for seven years, which is quite a large chunk of his career, but he didn't stay at the club the whole time. He went on a couple of loan spells to the likes of uh, Everton and AC Milan. He's also played at the likes of Valencia and Fulham. Um, whilst at AC Milan, as previously stated, he was in another ridiculous team. I'm not sure which team I would have said was better, the Arsenal team in 2003 or the AC Milan team in 2008, because in 2008 he was playing alongside Ronaldinho, who was probably still in his prime at that point in time, Thiago Silva, Kaka, David Beckham, Inzaghi, Maldini, it's just a ridiculous team. Um, so that surely shows that he's a player of class and that um, he's got a lot to add to our team. So those are all the pros of him and I do think that he was a fantastic player in his prime and that he's, he's still a good player now but the cons for example, um, at Fulham he didn't have the best reputation amongst the fans, um, he was a bit of a hardcore player going in for all the headers etc, not caring if he got hurt in the process but towards, the, uh, towards when he played for Aston Villa, he left them in January of 2016 to join Grasshoppers which he stayed until the summer of 2016. Now he's joined us from August or yeah from August 2016. That means that we're his third club in one year. As to why that is, that's yet to be seen. But um, I I just hope that he can do the business because he is our last signing of a centre back until January. Uh, maybe then we won't even sign one. Uh, it does worry me slightly because if he's not the man that we all hope that he is and the man that we need at the back, then we don't have the answers that we need to make our our defence great again. So, do I think Philip Sanderos is going to be a good player for us? Yes, I do. Am I excited for him signing? Yes, I am. Do I think he's going to make his debut against Celtic? Um, league debut? Yeah, I think he will. But I think he'll play his actual club debut against Linfield. Uh, purely because I think in the Linfield game, all of our players will be trying a lot harder because uh, it is going to be the game that they prove themselves before the game of Celtic. So, I think Sanderos will have to be on that game. Uh, as for tomorrow's game of Linfield versus Rangers, um, it takes place on the 3rd of September, which is tomorrow, uh, Saturday at 1 o'clock at Windsor Park. It's actually a testimonial match for Jamie Mulgrew. Uh, it must be said that I don't know much about the player because I don't follow Northern Irish football. However, if I did, Linfield would be my club. So, once uh, uh, again, a huge shout out to our Blues brothers at Linfield. Do I think that we could beat Linfield? I would say yes, I do. However, Linfield will be charging in with confidence after beating their last team, Lane, or if I mulled that pronunciation, I do apologise. But they beat them 5-0 in the League Cup. I do expect uh, a lot of respect to be withheld between the game of Linfield versus Rangers because we are the Blues brothers. And also, on the Facebook pages that I do run, there is a lot of respect between Linfield fans and our fans. They are quite often in, um, in contact with our pages, wishing us luck for games, etc. So once again... <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for checking out our YouTube video. Uh, the next YouTube video after this will be a analysis of the match versus uh, Rangers versus Linfield. And then after that, it's going to be the big one. It's going to be the old firm. Whether I do a pre-match 
uh, video versus that about what we need to do to win or not is yet to be seen. But either way, there is going to be a video. Make sure that you check that out um, after the game because either I'll be in tears of joy or in tears of misery and you never know. So once again, thank you very much for watching our video. Um, see you next.